Welcome back to the Home Library Collection. Today we've got another unboxing from the Folio Society of four non-fiction titles, one of which is from their New Spring Collection. First up is The World of Herodotus by Aubrey de Selincourt. It features a plain black slipcase with curved sides at the mouth, covering a rather simple yet beautiful cover illustration, which wraps all the way around, blocked in a gorgeous copper colour. Maps printed on the end papers are in fact the same maps printed in the limited edition of Horatius's Histories produced by the Folio Society. In this book, de Selincourt takes much the same approach as Herodotus, exploring the worlds of Greece, Persia and Egypt from a historical and cultural perspective. However, taking a modern viewpoint, it serves as both a counter and an accompaniment to the histories. There are numerous photographs of historical artefacts to help bring the time period to life and adds to the very high quality of the book. The next book is On the Origin of Species by Charles Darwin, which also comes with a plain black slipcase. The buckram cover features intricate illustrations on the front and spine with details blocked in gold. This is one of, if not the most famous pieces of scientific writing, in which Darwin details his theory of natural selection and evolution, the foundations of which he established while sailing on the HMS Beagle. It was at its first publication, and remains still today, one of the most controversial books ever published, as it seemed to contradict the concept of divine creation and God's role in the natural world. This edition includes 24 pages of colour photographs and scientific drawings, and the page tops are coloured to match the cover. As part of their spring collection, Folio have released Darwin's later work, The Descent of Man. Produced in the same style as On the Origin of Species, this edition is also protected by a plain black slipcase, and the cover illustrations are equally detailed. Though no longer as well known as his previous work, the Descent of Man is no less controversial. Extending his theory of evolution to include humans, Darwin removes man's divinely given superiority over animals and the distinction between them. Instead, he establishes mankind's place on the evolutionary tree, allowing him to present one of his most criticised theories, that men and apes are closely related and share a common ancestor. The Folio Society have once again done justice to a work with as much historical and scientific importance as this, with coloured page tops, as well as 32 pages of photographs and up to 60 scientific drawings integrated into the text. The final book from this delivery is The Yangtze Valley and Beyond by Isabella Bird. This edition has probably my favourite cover and slipcase combination of any Folio Society book that I've seen before. Not only in its exceptional quality, 
but also in terms of its simple yet stylized beauty. Both the slipcase and the fine cloth of the cover are blocked in gold, bearing the inscription Yangtze River in Chinese script. I really feel that the beauty and quality of this production aren't quite captured on camera. The author, Isabella Bird, is an incredible British lady who frequently wrote about her extraordinary and varied travels around the world. In this book, Bird recalls her seven-month journey down the Yangtze River in 1896 at the age of 65. She is able to recount the hardships of the expedition through sometimes hostile lands and people, while capturing her admiration for an extraordinary culture and a post-opium war China on the cusp of change. This edition is dense with over a hundred original photographs taken by Bird on her journey, and there is a small fold-out map of the route taken. This is a truly exceptional copy that I'm very pleased to own. This is another delivery that I'm really delighted with. All four of the books are of exceptional quality and I'm very happy to add them to my collection. Mm -hmm.